What's going on everybody, Slime Dutchman here and today it was such a such good weather that uh windows open, still wind noise, I think. Anyways, uh it was such good weather that I decided I wanted to do something with the car. I had no parts to put on, I have no I'm just saving up for now because since I'm not a big YouTuber or whatever making crazy money I cannot just go build, 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 build and buy. Um, I just need to save up some more. Uh, I set myself a budget to do this. Uh, hydro angle kit, uh, welded diff, different steering wheel, a couple of tires, uh, stuff like that. Just everything that you need for the car. Um, and now I'm saving up a little to do a roll cage and a livery, but that will not be in the near future. This year, but not in the near future. Um, and I decided it was time to pull some stuff from the car. Uh, not, not really stage one weight reduction. I'm still gonna keep this interior here intact for now. Um, but that the whole carpet and everything will come out as soon as I uh, uh, I'm going for the roll cage because you need to weld plates into the car. You cannot weld in the car if you have a full interior. That shit will catch on fire and you don't want that. So um, I started off with doing the bonnet uh, or the hood or whatever you call it, depending on where you're from. Uh, the whole underliner out of it. Um, why? It's not necessarily that much weight, but if the car will. Uh, does puke some oil out or whatever it gets soaked into that mat then combine uh, fabric with oil and a lot of heat and it might just catch on fire one day I don't want that uh, same is with the whole uh, dampening around the trans tunnel or like inside the trans tunnel there's a whole uh, thing that dampens the the sound Hold on. and I think that should be a lot better. Um, that also is soaked with oil since my car is squirting some oil out a little bit. Not too, not too bad, but um, uh, I need to take that out because that's also a fire hazard. Um, and then again, um, just every little, if, even if it's uh, one kilo. Yeah, we, we don't use pounds here, we use kilos, sorry. But if you take one kilo out and you do that like 10 times, you have 10 kilos. And 10 kilos is something. What is it, like 20 pounds? A little bit around there. I don't know. Um, so it will get stripped completely eventually. And then it's just going to be a dashboard and two bucket seats and a roll cage. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave most of it in place. I'm just going to see how much can I pull out of it without... Um, making it uh, undrivable as a daily or not functional as a daily. Uh, as soon as my other daily comes then this car is gonna get on a big big diet. Just take everything out you don't need because then I have the other car if in case I need to carry more people or whatever. Also I did some minor things like this um, little switch here. Let me show you. I made that switch. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how I did it. I'm doing some quick little fixes inside, like this little button, which is for the uh, cooling fan to turn on, uh, loosen the screws out of there, because it's just a nasty hole with some electrical wire. Well, the wire should work, but I got a little cap that fits over here from the wreckers, get myself a switch and placed it in. So now uh, I can just attach that to that and because um, it didn't have these plugs anymore and I have them here so just uh, attach those push them back in and we should have a good working little nifty switch so as you can see it's quite an uh, easy installment uh, fits perfectly in here nice and flush all clean and uh, well now I could turn my uh, fan on, radiator fan, manually, because the previous owner had it overheat and he was like, nope, not gonna happen anymore, not again. 
so he just uh, installed this switch to do it manually if you see that the temps were going up too hot also on the last um, drift day I found out that one of the cables uh, of this uh, broke on the battery side somewhere there so it wasn't working and my car was warming up while drifting and everything so uh, I had to go off track fix that quick and uh, well at least this looks a lot cleaner um, maybe we get maybe get one of those little red caps that goes over here to be a little riser um, but I don't know just uh, probably have multiple switches by the end of it um, because drift car go for all the extra options and all the shit you don't need pull it out and just make raw buttons for it because essentially a lot of people pull this stuff everything out and uh, well radio and everything I want to keep it like this for now because I still use it on the road so I have my front and my rear speakers so what started off as just doing something on the car and resulted in basically doing a stage one weight reduction basically taking everything you can out I started with the headliner because it was a bit nasty and filthy so I took it all out and then well the rest happened so I need some dry ice to get those uh, black things out uh, what is it tar mats or whatever it's heavy sound deadening stuff and uh, Oh, you can probably shave some weight of that. So, on we go. We've got the back seats out. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can pop that black trim piece off here. And then maybe get those side cards. These as well, because I don't need them. And, well, weight is everything. It's basically the cheapest mod you can do, is just take all the weight out and... Well, if it saves me 100 kilos in total, then... The car should feel different and better handling, so good thing. Uh, after this, maybe I'm gonna pull the uh, carpet as well. I need to take the seats out and everything, so I don't know yet if I'm gonna do that today. I'll just leave it like nice, comfortable in the front for the time being since there's no roll cage in sight. Uh, that is why I'm stripping it though, and take all the, the stuff out so everything is just ready to weld up. But, uh, yep, continue on. So, the rear end is completely stripped out. Now, I've got one of the seats out, and I'm gonna see if I can get all the carpet out. I'm gonna leave the center console in for now, because I like the armrest. And since I'm going to the UK next month, um, I would love to have a hand rest, cause that, uh, arm rest, because that will be, uh, I don't know a little bit better um, so yeah gonna get a, my cutting knife out because it's between there and there and then you start stripping basically I think I will just uh, saw it off here underneath it and then uh, take everything out as much as I can cool uh, we're a couple of days later now, uh, I've, as you can see the rear end, or maybe you can't see it that good, hold on, let me just give you a better view. Uh, the rear end of the car, er almost everything is out, uh, only those black uh, tar mats, whatever it is, needs to come out, so with some dry eyes or whatever. Um, but I was in the area of a way bridge and I was just like, well, walk in, can I weigh my car? And this, she was like, yeah, are you with the car now? And yeah, no, just pull up to it when the when the truck is ready, when he pulls off, then uh, you can weigh your car. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how much I've already lost. Plus I have a, a point where I'm like at. So I take more and more out, more and more stuff out. Uh, uh, maybe with the roll cage in and then I can weigh it again. So I can see how much I gained, how much I lost uh, of the weight because I already have the standard weight which is on the, the, the slip of the car. Uh, what the car is from factory. So yeah, curious to see how that turns out. So I'm gonna wait a little bit to the lorry or truck, whatever is ready and then uh, drive on it. 
So the woman there behind the desk was very friendly. She was like, yeah, come on, bring your car up. Uh, so I did. And she just didn't give me a whole official slip of everything. She just wrote down the number of how much it weighs. And it is 1260 kilograms. So 1260 kilo. Um, I'm gonna check in a bit because I'm driving out what is on my license, how heavy it is. Uh, so we see how much weight there is already out and then um, we go on from there basically. So I am parked up. This is the little note that she gave me, 1260. And I'm gonna see how much it takes off. So hopefully. This is uh, in Holland. This is your license. This has my uh, somewhat information uh, on the car, and then on the rear you can see, uh, uh, especially here. Where's the there? This one uh, is thirteen thirty-five. So we take out. Uh, 40, 75 kilos already with just the interior trim pieces uh, the seats were pretty heavy um, but that's a good thing 75 kilos out of this uh, which is not even stage one because there's more of that black stuff that's coming out uh, more of the door cards are going to be cut because underneath of there going to be a roll cage so more and more is coming out so then when the roll cage comes in um, we c hopefully break even or maybe be a bit lighter but uh, good things um, it was a bit sloppy video because I just started the process and um, uh, was not really thinking of filming I just was a bit bored I was like I want to do something with the car but I don't have parts or what can I do and I just started I just started stripping out of nowhere and I was like oh wait I need to film something so that's why there's not a lot of that on film um, but at least I got the uh, the end results and it's gonna be even more stripped out and I'll take you guys along for that journey uh, for now thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a like um, and subscribe if you're new and want to see more of this drift build or game related content um, been lacking a bit on the game related content uh, don't know if people miss it or um, they really like it it's more just real life content but I'm gonna try to squeeze some in and give that a thumbs up if you want to see more game related content still on the channel um, so what I said see you next time peace